Hello and welcome. If your RP game looks anything like this, then you're missing Counter-Strike Source. You don't have Counter-Strike. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of this and actually get all the Counter-Strike files so you don't get any of this errors, missing textures, all this fun crap. So yeah, let's get started. First thing first, you need to go to store.steampower.com. This is a Steam website. Just uh, Google Steam Power, then the first link should be right there. Steampower.com. Now from the top, skip all this, scroll to the bottom. Okay, so down here, Windows HL Tools, Windows HL DS Update Tool. Click that, it starts to download. It's an important time. Downloading this file. So once you have it downloaded, uh, before we start that up, you need to prepare something. You need to go to your uh, My Computer or Computer, go to your C drive, SB C drive, and open the C drive. Go down to actually this is what you need. Uh, make a new folder. So just right click new folder, new, new folder, and name it SRCDS. That's right, SRCDS. Just an empty folder named SRCDS. Now once you have that, um, just launch the file you just downloaded from the Steam website. Click launch. Hit run. Starts the installer. This is the dedicated server tool for Steam. We're going to use it to download their Counter-Strike files. So now, right here, stop right here, destination location. Make sure it's on SRCDS. Uh, since this is my uh, multiple times installing this, it's, it already has a recognized as that folder, but first time it won't have that. So you need to browse, browse your C drive, in the C drive, look for the SRCDS you just made, and hit OK, yes, and next. Then next again, select your region, next again, and next, once more. Then you can read the read the README because you're not going to be hosting servers. We're just doing this to get Counter Strike. Okay, so now that you did that, you go to your SRCDS folder, and all the stuff you need is here. Well, all the stuff you need to get Counter Strike is here. Now you're going to need two files. You're going to need update.bat and spawnless. We'll get spawnless later. Uh, for now, we need update.bat. I'll leave this in the description of the video. You can download this. If you don't trust the contents of the file, you can only just right click on it and edit. And you can see what's the code inside. Basically, this just tells the update tool. It doesn't work on its own. This tells the update tool to launch and download Counter Strike. So once it's in here, double click the update up that and get started. Now, the first thing this is, is uh, it's going to connect to the server and then it's going to start checking to see if you what counter strike file we have and what's missing. As you can see, everything here is missing. There's no counter strike, nothing. Um, I'm gonna wait for this to start. Okay, so now it started. It's checked. It's saying uh, all the files are missing. Counter strike missing, missing, missing. Um, first, it checks for the files. Now it's not. It's gonna check for counter strike and also Half Life Two. Uh, first, it's gonna check for both of them. Then it's gonna start downloading counter strike. Then Half Life 2. At the point where it's done downloading Counter Strike, you just want to stop it because you don't need Half Life 2. Unless you want Half Life 2. See, right now it's checking for the Half Life 2 and it sees all the Half Life 2 files are missing. But that's okay, it doesn't matter since it's going to download Counter Strike first. And still checking Half Life 2 files. Um, now it's. Now it started downloading Counter Strike files. So it's downloading C as to the folder CSS, C Strike. So make sure it's downloading to the uh, CSS folder. It's at 1.7%. The total Counter Strike uh, files is 1. Point, it was like 1.6 gigs. So depending on your internet connection, it could take anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. Yeah, for really slow internet, it'll take much longer. Um, so yeah, once it's done Counter Strike, it's at 100%. You could just close this bat. Um, and, and when it gets to HL2, you don't need HL2 for Counter-Strike, so you don't need it to finish HL2, you can just close it before it finishes HL2. So for now, I'm gonna, I already have the file, I'm going to skip to that next step. Okay, so now that you've finished downloading, you'll have a folder called CSS and the HL2 folder. If you were smart, you should have stopped the HL2 download before it completed, or you can just wait for it to download if you want it. So get to the CSS folder. Go to C-Strike, and you want to pay attention to everything in here. 
these are all the files you need to fix your Gmod RP experience. So uh, I'm going to close the browser for now. Um, and what you want to do is you want to get to your uh, Gmod folder now. So to get to your Gmod folder, open it. So let's say you're at your My Computer. Uh, usually if you haven't changed your Steam installation location, it will be in your C drive. You'll go C, Program Files x86 or Program Files x 32 bit Open that and then you'll have a Steam folder in here. For me it's not there, it's in My Data, it's in uh, Games and then Steam folder. So from this point on you have you find your Steam folder in your Program Files. You'll go into your Steam folder and then you want to go into Steam Apps and then look for the folder with your name on it with your Steam name on it. Open that one and you want to look for your Gary's Mod. In Gary's Mod you have another Gary's Mod. Go to your Gary's Mod folder in here. Now you want to copy five folders from here. Just sounds, particles, models, materials, and maps. Maps is just extra but it's cool to have all the contract maps and it doesn't hurt just to move them over here. So once you have all that you could just drag and drop it all in here, but there's one thing. When you're uh, moving materials in here, there's one file that you want to make sure not to copy over. In materials, there's a materials console. There's this files here. The background, uh, background 01, background 01, or VMT, VTF. And those are the background files for your um, menu, like whenever you load the Gmod. You have like the guy with the picture with the grabbed on. It's going to change it with the Counter-Strike one if you load these files into your Gmod. So when you're copying them over, it'll tell you that they're the same files you want to copy and replace. Just hit skip on that. Don't Make sure you don't copy and replace those. So yeah, you just um, you just get those files, sound, models, materials, maps, particles, those five. Drag it and drop it. I'm not going to do it now because I already have it in here. Just gonna ask you to replace all of them. After you're done doing that, you need to. Uh, you, right now, you can play um, RP servers and you won't have any more errors like that. But if you want to also be able to spawn the Counter Strike models and props, you're gonna need to get their spawn list. So while you're in the Gary's Mod folder, go to Settings, Spawn List. Right now, I have it all added it's Counter Strike, uh, Nuke, Office, Militia, Assault, and Counter Strike. So those five text documents are the spawn list for the Counter-Strike models and props. And that's this download here I'm going to give you in the description. Spawn list, that's it. This just contains those uh, those five text documents. So basically you just take this and drop it in here. And yeah, you can move and replace. I'm not going to have them all. It's just the same files. And this will give you all the Counter-Strike files. Okay. Um, that's most of what you need for RP. One more thing you will need for RP is uh, wire. So uh, for wire, I'm going to make another video. Um, it's my next video. So look in the description for that one. It'll be linked in the description. Thanks for watching. If you have any problems, questions, just uh, leave a comment. Bye.